the USA archive is part of the Central European University. It is uh, probably one of the largest Cold War archives in the world. Our main concern is not to preserve and um, uh, maintain um, archival material, but also to um, give as broad access to these documents as possible. We are trying to develop uh, innovative uh, methods to present and publish human rights archives, especially with the emergence of um, new web technologies. Um, our work basically starts when a human rights um, document comes to the archives and only ends when this document is presented in some format. We like to deal with uh, historical problems which are not resolved yet. Either we publish uh, documents which are not supposed to be online or we organize a conference or we do an exhibition. Keep the information and keep the, the, the actual debate on. This is also a mandate. This is a part of our public program mission. This uh, past June we organized an exhibit on uh, uh, the 15th anniversary of the 1995 Srebrenica genocide. We managed to bring to light documents that have been uh, with us for a number of years, um, which have been processed in, in a way and they were available for research, but basically we, we didn't find their proper uh, the proper way of, of presenting them to the public. This is the Physicians for Human Rights documentation and uh, this is their complete records, the forensic um, um, final reports, the identification project, the anti-mortem database which contains information uh, on over 6,000 uh, people who went missing during the Srebrenica killings. Here we have about um, 8,000 color photographs uh, documenting each and every mass grave exhumation. When we started collecting documents about the Balkan war, the war was still going on. We commissioned somebody in uh, Zagreb, Bagrad and Sarajevo to record the nightly news program every single day because there were no television archives in any of the belligerent countries. So if you come here, you are able to study the perception of the war from three different perspectives. The perspectives of those who fought each other. This activity is not without risks. In a sense, this is a politicized institution. Historical archives are always behind of changes and if you look at the national archives or city archives in many countries they kind of are uh, rigid and frozen into their structures and when you have a new archive established in the 90s in a post-communist society especially a private archive it's more capable of reacting to to the change when um, Bill Clinton decided to cut the budget of Radio Free Europe as a sign of the end of the Cold War, and the radios decided to get rid of the archive, we thought that since most of the collections of the Radio Free Europe archive had originated from this part of the world, we thought that the archive should remain here. Uh, these are. Um short anonymous interviews taken by um, Radio Free Europe um, field office staff members um, who were trying to um, talk to people who managed to escape from behind the Iron Curtain or to travelers, Western travelers who um, uh, did business or, or uh, traveled to the socialist countries. In Hungary after the fall of the communists, many organizations just ceased to exist. The pioneer associations, the, one of the major photo company who was developing the photographs, you know. What happened? When a company ceased to exist, the official records go into the state archive. But what happens to the actual products? They usually trash the information. One of my colleagues saved the archive of the Hungarian Ministry of Interior 
propaganda educational film archive. Of course the paper files went into the National Archive, but nobody wanted to save the actual films. So they trashed the information. So we had to dig out from the garbage. We not only exist in order to help researchers who come here, but we are an activist organization. Every year we organize a, an international human rights documentary film festival. We are able to be more open. Uh, we are able to do things which uh, a more uh, cautious institution um, constrained by all sorts of uh, bureaucratic uh, uh, legal measures would not be able to do.